Hello guys, this is Good Like, and we're back to Baldur's Gate. What happened last time in Baldur's Gate? Last time in Baldur's Gate, we assaulted the Darlag's Tower. And what a battle that was. Can't really describe it in any other way other than just a battle. I believe we killed some kind of an otherworldly being in there or something. And honestly, I have no idea what else did we do. We completed some like quests here, like really quickly. But then, then the Durlock's Tower was just too much. Couldn't handle it. And after that, I finally watched some royal peeing, and as I expected, Del Pier didn't fare very well with the Lax Tower. Instead, he set his sights up north towards the. Well. Uh, I forget the word, but uh, the titular. There we go. The titular city. And. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go do that too, cause like, what else is here left? Like this? 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 Whatever. I do know that he intends to go to Peldwell may based on his episode titles, <laughs> which is amazing, but he has uttered a desire to proceed onwards to Baldur's Gate, so we shall attempt to enter and explore it, or at least, uh, walk around it or something, I don't know. But first we shall explore this another bridge. Usually bridge areas are like the deadliest of them all, but we'll see, maybe this one is not quite. I am here. How are we doing? We still haven't desecrated the idol. That's a bit upsetting, but what can you do? There we go. Kirin Hale. A succubus. Oh. For all that effort, and all we got was a bit of her hair. Uh, oh well. Anyway, we have like 10 tackle. Like we're almost at single digits. That's insane. But I don't think we're gonna get much further. I think we're really high level already. Level 6. I think the experience stops at like level 7 or 8, according to some people, so... Maybe we'll get there, maybe we'll get to eight tacos. Who knows, maybe we'll get another skill point, and we can go uh, add more stuff and stuff and things, like more axe skill. Yeah, we're, we're, we're an axe flinger, that's for sure. Anyway, let's make our way towards the bridge. We actually have some business here. I can almost feel his presence. My patron hums with excitement about this soul. It pulses with energy. Come, we stand at the threshold. Oh, that's right. There's uh, two businesses that we have to do here. We have to kill uh, Dorn's buddy, whatever his name is, while well, check that fucking letter that he has. I think it starts with a G, but I'm not even sure. And the other business is we need to find the bitch queen or something and tell her to stop summoning thunder to the farm to the south. She lives in a hut and stuff. Anyway, Dorn, you interrupted me, but whatever. Uh, this this patron of yours is uh, interesting. When Simeon's broken body lies at my feet, perhaps I shall reward you with the rest of my tale. Yes. Oh, Simeon. That's not a G. That's not a G at all. Whatever. Yes. Maybe I don't even care about your tail. Huh? Think about that. Well, you know, in this game, the Simeon is probably on the fucking bridge, so we're gonna walk around the entire fucking area first looking for random crap, too. Look at that. Like, that looks like a lootable, almost. So weird. Ooh, I smell a hut in search of me. Yes. Tinya! That name sounds familiar, and not from this game. Hello, Tinya. Stop! You are trespassing on my land home! 
None come this way armed as you are. It was those horrible fishermen that hired you, wasn't it? Oh, speak. Um, yeah, I guess they did send me, but... <laughs> what, what, what's going on? What goes on is none of your business. Leave now, lest you earn the same fate that they have. Oh, lady, 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 lady. You see, had you not gone on and say that they earned the fate from you, I may have considered going back. But now you just made me suspicious. Now I'm gonna get to the bottom of this, whether you like it or not. Tenya. By wandering around your house. Well, we're gonna go into your house, but... And kegs first! Yeah, I didn't think so. It shall be even bloodier than you hope. Yeah, Dorn can carry the ankegs. What's left of them anyway. Uh -huh. So we can go up north. What's up north? Another farm. I didn't actually think there would be another farm. But okay. Alright. Are you sure you haven't changed your mind? You do sound cherry. Too cherry. You return. I warn you once again to leave my home. If you do not, I must assume you are allied with my enemies. Lady, if you're gonna make assumptions, so will I. And those assumptions aren't gonna end well in your favor. Again, tell me what's going on. I'm giving you three strikes, lady. Three strikes. So you got one. As cowardly as they are treacherous, hiring others to do what they could not. Tonight I shall put an end to all of this. The seas cry for vengeance. Did you just... Did you just try to command me? Lady, 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 you... You have done goofed. Why do you do this? Don't you know what they've done? Sonner and the others, they are the evil ones. They killed my mother, and now you help them? She only did her duty collecting the offerings from those that would use the sea. They stole her elemental summoning bowel and tortured her for the words that make it work. Now they all misuse a gift from Umberly to pillage the seas, and my mother's spirit can't rest until it is returned. I have more power than mother had. Umberly gave me her anger, but I can't find a bow. All I can do is hurt them till they give it back or die, but I'm so tired. I don't have mother's will, and the goddess is so demanding. Help me, please. <laughs> See? Was that so fucking hard? Just an explanation? Bam, problem solved. Anyway, relax. I'm gonna go figure out what's this bowel business. Oh, thank you. The Sea Queen may yet be satisfied with the return of the bowel. But one way or another, Sonner's group must no longer profit at her expense. It's probably being hidden in the shrine to another god. I don't know where the shrine is and couldn't go near even if I did, but Sonner may tell you if you ask him with a blade. Go now, for Umberly is seldom patient and you are not yet on her good side. Lady, 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 lady. If, if you don't stop, if you don't stop, something bad is going to happen to you. I'm not going to kill you. But I have at least two evil characters that will. <laughs> so just calm down there with your threatening and stuff. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ugh. First, let's go inside her room. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. Shut up with your bloodier than you hoped. Alright. Go block the passageway. We follow the righteous path. The path of hell. <laughs> You're a queer. I've done had enough. Come on, let's see what's going on here. Hmm, gold jade ring and a skydrop gem. 
And darts. I will listen. Ominous. Anyway. That was uh, interesting. Let's see what uh, we find out from these fishermen and what do they think about uh, well these claims from this bitch queen. I'm pretty sure the bitch queen is the actual god, like that she's revering. Starts with a U. Umbilical cord. There we go. And, uh. I don't know. Oh, that doesn't sound like a god to revere. To begin with, revering gods. Yes? It what is a done. waste of time. Why, well, hello there, gentlemen. It appears we have a problem. Cool tempers will prevail. Back, I see. Have you done it? Have you killed the bitch? I mean, she was a bitch, but not a bitch enough to kill her. Uh, so... This priest has had much to say about the group of you. She knows we sent you? Damn it, she'll kill us all for... Hold your tongue, Kelman. Now I warned you she was treacherous. You've gone and believed her lies, haven't you? What did she say, that we stole some bowel or something? Seems a pretty shallow excuse to kill us over, doesn't it? Now, as I said before, we are but poor fishermen, but what if we lost, toss in another 100 yo? Will that change your mind? <laughs> Upon careful consideration, I have decided to accept your offer. <laughs> no. Sonner, let me be very honest with you. If you give me a bowel of some kind, I will be satisfied. Otherwise, I will be pissed. Are we clear? Well, that's it then. The jig's up, isn't it? That bitch priestess was taking tribute from us for years. The price just kept climbing, and you can't sail without appeasing Umberly, the cleric of Talos and Baldur's Yates said. Suffice to say, we made our arrangements for our safe passage at sea. Part of that deal was a little payback as well. So you see, we're all pawns within the friendly rivalries of the gods. You had best tread carefully, lest you step on some powerful toes. Listen. Listen. Which part of me, bowl, good, me, no, bowl, piss, do you not understand? I suppose I have little choice then. I've had it on me the entire time we felt it was safest that way. Take it, but know that a Stormlord knows who it is that opposes him. I don't give two shits. You've got what you came for, now get out of here. I should stay well away from any Talos shrine if I were you. Wengeful things these got. I don't give a shit. I'll fucking put this idol on Talos Shrine. Great. As we keep going through this land, all that happens is we find more things to desecrate. Lovely. Let's insp this bowel. Bowel of water elemental control. This magical bowel holds great power in that it grants the owner a certain degree of control over magical creatures known as water elementals. As is the case with all elemental forces, this control can be turned towards either good or evil, or chaos. One would therefore be well advised to use discretion when dealing with any such creatures. Whatever. I have no patience for these kind of shenanigans of gods. Get to the point, and to the business. Hey, Tin! I brought you a bowel. This better be the right bowel. Umberly guides my way. You return. I trust that you bear good news. Oh, don't... You... You don't want to use that word. Anyway... Here's the bowel. Take it. Umberly is mother now, and she is well pleased. She will deal with Sonor's group in time, and Talos will no doubt abandon them for their failure. If they are wise, they will never set sail again, for the sea will take their worthless lives. I have no reward for you, but the Sea Queen remembers those that serve her well. You will be paid. Lady, I already took my reward from your chest. 
Not literal chest, of course. I have been promised a future world, blah blah blah. Strange show, I don't feel that I have helped the child as much as I have been a pawn of a spiteful god. Uh, pretty much. I'd say pawn is a bit of... Strong word to, to describe what happened there. It's more like, uh... If you think the gods are whimsical, you haven't been paying attention to me. Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. Son of a bitch, Dorn. We're going to the fucking bridge and we'll rest at it and obstruct everyone's aid. There, you happy? You happy, you evil son of a bitch? That's like the most evil thing that could happen. It's us obstructing the path. I think he's satisfied with this. He was, he was very happy. Now let's move the fuck on. <sighs> what manner of beasts are on this bridge, I wonder? So far, so nothing. Hello? The mercenary of the flaming... Did you not even finish the bridge? You sons of a bitches, what is this? Look, there's a massive seam in it too. God damn it. I serve the flaming fist. <laughs> oh, you sure do. Sorry, traveler, but the entrance to Baldur's Gate is closed. With all the bandit activity about, we've been forced to keep the gate closed. Perhaps if you return later, things may have changed and we may be able to open the city. So you're telling me I have to kill all the bandits in the region, even though I've already done that. Well, technically I killed all the bandits in the sound part of the region, I guess. Fine. It is a little bit suspect that you would close the bridge for some paltry bandits. Normally what you just said would be true, but most of the flaming fizz is down in the south and the Grand Dukes feel that the city is exposed. I apologize for any inconvenience, but there's nothing I can do. You're useless. Well, now that's just sad. I'm gonna go to, like, all the way to Baragos, I think, to sell these anchor shells. And I'm gonna come back and uh, we're gonna explore the Pel Pelve Peldvelus. The Peldvelus. Be right back. Here we are at Peldwell. Looks like a big place. Indeed. But that could just be me. That's quite a meeting committee. They don't even report a the damage. They just death. Oh, this hobgoblin is like super lucky. Until he exploded. Wow, identify? Really? Also, our little bandit wasn't, uh, bandit I say? It wasn't there. Not bandit, uh, what's his name? Samuel? Simon, there we go. He was supposed to be... Just outside the Baldur's Gate. Like... My assumption is that maybe he's actually here in this bandit camp, actually, so... That's probably the Dorn's quest. I'm, I'm gonna go on a limb there and say that's where Dorn's quest is leading us. Because... I feel like it would be really dumb for this quest to actually lead here when it wants us to go in one of these. But we'll see. Indeed. Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. Why are these fuckers always the tired ones? Fine, we'll rest here. Or not. Well, this is a bandit's area, that's for sure. You motherfuckers. Missile damage. Missile damage on good like, again. This game is just fucking trolling me at this point. Going down from here actually revealed this area, that's so odd. Certainly. A little. It doesn't matter though. We're moving on. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, 
This place is like a barrel of wonders. Or a literal barrel with ten gold. Huh. Well, we can't climb that shit. Time to go around the world. Well, we can't climb that shit. Time to go around the world. <laughs> 